be. In this trick here, someone had a data set, and they needed to pull some values into this column from this column over here, depending on what was here. So now, over here I have power, so I need to get this 150 over here and this 90 over here. But if I change anything here, I need to, it to update. Now, I always like to have labels so every, everyone using this spreadsheet knows. So I'm going to build a little concatenation label up here that just says power, whatever's in that cell, power amount equals, and I'm going to click on this cell right here, and I'm going to use the join symbol, shift 7, that's an ampersand, and then double quote, space, double quote, another ampersand, and the word amount. Now what I've done here is I've joined three things. Because there's one, two, three things, I use two ampersands. Hey, whatever's in this cell, plus the space, plus that. Enter. Now if I change this to cable, then the um, label at the top automatically updates. Now we need our formula. We're just going to do a simple if equals the if function. The if function needs a logical test. Well, our logical test is pretty simple. Logical tests always come out true or false. We say, hey, anything relative cell reference one, two, three cells to my left equal to this. And that one has to be locked, so I hit the F4 key. Lock the row reference since I'm copying it down. Anytime this cell right here equals that, that's a logical test. It only comes out true or false. The value if true is going to be, hey, I want whatever's one, two cells to my left. Otherwise, the value of false, and you could put whatever you want here. A zero if you want a zero to show up, if it was for a calculation or something like that. I'm going to put double quote. That means blank. Close parentheses. Control Enter, and I'm going to double click and send it down. Double click. So now you can see it's working just fine. If I change this to power, it shows up just fine. All right, we'll see you next trick.